Hi, God bless everyone. So, I had this dream yesterday, Friday morning, and I just told myself I was not going to share it because I don't I didn't want to share anything anymore about the 3 days of darkness, but I've gotten confirmation to share it. And I have to say, I did get confirmation because a couple of people asked me, did I get confirmation about that dream that I had about Jesus visiting the second day of the three days of darkness? And I did. I actually did a video a long time ago where I explained biblically the darkness. And I, I said in a video that it's not necessarily three days, but there are examples of three days of darkness in the Bible. And I did that uh, video explaining scripture about Jesus visiting the second day of the darkness. I said that in in that uh, biblical explanation. So I'll put it in the description box for anyone who hasn't seen it. So um, what happened was somebody sent me somebody else's video giving the scripture. And I said, oh, yeah. So, yeah, it is biblical what I saw. And my dream I had yesterday, I was in some kind of house and it was like all of these houses connected. And I can't tell you how far these houses went. I think it just re represented all the people of the world. And I was in this, the house I was in with my um, youngest daughter. And we were looking, I was looking outside at first and I was looking at I don't know if it was a moon or the sun. It was some big, bright, I'll, I'll just call it a moon, like a moon. And it was all these lights around the moon. And I was like, wow, what is this? And I was like, this is just like my dream. And then I called my daughter over to come look at it. And I was like, come look at this. And I was telling her, this is just like our dreams. And then it was all of these people that were outside. It was a lot of people outside looking up at the sky. But I had a knowing in a dream that the majority of them were demons in human form. But there were some, you know, regular humans, but there was a lot of demons in human form. And I've done multiple videos about demons in human form. I'll put them in the description box. Cause I'm not going to explain that right now for any new subs that are like, what are you talking about? I, I've explained it in other videos. So anyway, they was outside staring at the sky. And I was telling my daughter how this was just like dreams that we had. And then all of a sudden it was this red uh, it looked like red, some kind of, the best way I can explain is it looked like red curtains and these big giant red curtains just enveloped the whole sky. It looked like red curtains. That's what it looked like. And, but it, of course it, it most likely was not curtains, but it was just the way the sky looked, looked like red curtains. And I was telling my daughter, this is just like my dream. Now, in reality, I've never had a dream seeing that. And so then all of a sudden, the, the after the red curtains went away, it was all of these what looked like stars that was really close to the earth. And as I'm looking at this, I'm seeing that these were spaceships. And at this point, the, the demons in human form, they were on cloud nine. They was just happy and shouting and just totally exuberant. And they was like, it's finally happening. It's finally happening. Oh, and let me say this, the sky itself was pitch black. It was pitch black. It was just all of these lights and all of this, um, look, like I said, look like stars, but it was spaceships and they was invading. And, uh, the demons in human form were really happy. And so at this, and, and also me and my daughter, we had closed all the windows and everything because we, we didn't even want them to know we was looking. And this, this one demon in human form, he peeked and he saw us looking. He saw us like, well, we were the one peeking and he saw us peeking out the window. And so he came to try to open the door and I'm not, I'm not sure what significance this was, but the doorknob 
didn't have the knob on the outside part. Only the knob was on the inside part where we were. And the other part was just like the stick, you know, like the stick that you have in the door when you're putting in a doorknob. And I just pulled it out. And I remember saying in a dream in my mind, I was thinking that he could just go get a stick or something and open the door. But he he didn't like he just didn't. And I have I felt like he couldn't like he couldn't open the door that way. And so he just looked and then he left because he was so happy. They were so happy that this was happening. Like he didn't even want to be bothered. He just he wanted to go and be happy. So I didn't get to see what happened after that. It was just all of this exuberance. And then the scene, I knew me and my daughter had been in the house for, I, I couldn't tell you how, how long, but I had a knowing that we had been in the house for a while. It could be a day, two days, three days. I'm not sure. I don't know, but we was there and I knew that. And then all of a sudden I was telling my daughter that we needed to go and check things out. We need to see what these what these demons in human form were up to. And so we had to I was telling her we had to dress like them cuz they was having this huge massive party. I mean, it was just a massive massive party. It was indoors, but it was a massive party cuz they were so happy with what everything that happened. And so I went and um, put on a dress. I didn't want to dress like them. And I'll say once I got to the party how they was dressed. But I put on a long dress. My dress was long and it was covering my breasts because, you know, I wasn't about to be showing no cleavage. But it was form fitting. So the form fitting part made it where I can fit in with them. And I was thin, which I'm not thin. And so anyway, I didn't see what my daughter was wearing. But we went to this part. I just saw like her, her hair. We went to this party. And that's when I saw like the way they was dressed. They had on these like mini skirts. They had splits in them too. You could like, I didn't see their underwear because I don't want to look up that far. But it, it it looked like you could see even see their underwear if they was wearing it. But anyway, they was real sleazy looking, belly out, um, breast cleavage showing and the men uh, were wearing, some of them were wearing very expensive suits. Like I saw this one guy, like a 007 type suit, with a white jacket with the black trim and he had on a bow tie. And some of them didn't have on jackets, They, but everybody was dressed real nice. And you could tell that they had a lot of money. And I saw Oprah Winfrey there and I knew she was a demon in human form, which she is. And I've done a video about her already in the past. And I also saw this guy who... um I don't even know his name. He played in some movie where there was some kind of invasion. And the reason I even know about this movie is because somebody told me about it when I had my locust dream. Because the invaders, they look like the locusts. And the people didn't know they was robots. And they found out later that they was robots. So somebody will probably know what movie I'm talking about. But I can't remember the name of it. But anyway, there is a guy that starred in that movie. And he was in my dream. I don't even know if this guy's a demon in human form in real life. But in the dream, he was. Oprah, I know, is be, be, beyond my dream. I don't know this from my dreams and visions. I've said that before. I just cannot explain. But God has revealed these things very supernaturally to me. And I know Oprah is a demon. I don't need a dream to tell me that because I know it for a fact. The Lord has revealed that to me. This guy, I honestly don't know about him. But in this dream, he was a demon too in human form. And it was all these celebrities. The majority of people there were celebrities. And Oprah was thin. Now, I haven't seen Oprah, honestly, in ages. So if she's thin, that will be shocking to me because I wouldn't know that. But she was thin for some reason. Unless she shapeshift or something. I don't know, but she was thin. And it was just filled with celebrities. And it was also, I mean, not filled because it was also people there. It was like demons in human form. That was just regular demons in human form. And I saw how in this party, I had a knowing how the demons in human form that was just regular and regular local communities, regular areas, 
You know, because it's not just celebrities. A lot of people think that. That's not true. These demons in human form are all over. And in this dream, I was literally shown throughout the dream, even when I saw them outside, I had a knowing throughout this whole dream that they were strategically, strategically placed where they were to do their work for Satan. Like, even if it was, you know, just being homeless or something, they strategically had a uh, placement by the structure of the devil. The devil has a structure. The Lord showed me that in another dream. He, he really showed me this structure of the devil, how he strategically places people to accomplish his evil goals. And I saw that again in this dream. And in this party, some of the regular humans that wasn't celebrities, just regular um, Joes that was demons in human form were there, but they was all the same. Like the celebrities and these other demons, the, the celebrities didn't outrank them which I was surprised by that, you know, it was, they was all like on the same level because they all had, they work for Satan and they was just doing a job and they was all on the same level, which was really interesting. And I saw at this party, it was some kind of card game. It looked like it might've been poker and it was like, you know, food was there and drinks, cocktails and stuff. And I remember walking past the food. It looked really delicious. But I said, there's no way I'm eating that. It's human flesh in that. I literally said that in a dream. I was like, it's human flesh in that. And I was like, I'm not eating that. And so I know the Lord gave me this dream just to show me how these demons are really waiting on these things to happen as well. So many times as Christians, we think that it's all about us. You know, everybody's talking about the rapture and everybody's talking about, and, and, and I don't want to say it that way because I want the rapture too, but I guess the, the tone in my voice is the way that it is because I had a dream and I was shown by the Lord that two over 2.3 million people will die at the onset of the chaos that's coming. And that's a lot of souls. That is a lot of souls. A lot of people will go straight to hell. Now, I want the rapture. I want all of these things too. I got a, a long list of things that I want from God. I, I have a long list of things. But I think the church is very selfish right now. Only thinking of themselves, not thinking about these souls. And I'm not talking about everybody. So don't start taking offense. Not me. I've been evangelizing. I'm not talking about you then. I'm talking about as a whole. I'm talking about the things that I'm hearing from people. A lot of people are very selfish. They're not thinking about all of these people, teenagers, young women, young men, old men, just old women, just people that are not ready at all for what's coming. This is going to take them like a sledgehammer to the back of the head. And they will go straight to hell, a lot of them. They will go straight to hell. And I began to realize that. And I just began to cry and cry to God and pray and pray to God that he will do everything that is humanly possible it, for us, humanly possible. And everything that is uh, possible on his end with the angels, with any help we can get to make the people listen to us. Because I know it can be frustrating to get through to people. I I feel all of that. I've, I, I've tell, told people many times, I probably have gotten cussed out every single day since I've been in the ministry. Since I've been doing the ministry, probably every single day I've been cussed out. Probably every single day. And people never understand what it's like until they walk in my shoes. And then they say, oh my goodness, Shauna, this is what you go through? Uh, yeah. It's bad. You know? But I'm not doing this to make a buck, okay? I'm not doing this to um, be famous like, like some people have accused me of, you know. That, I want you all to understand how stupid this is. I've been accused of making a YouTube channel and, and doing this ministry because I want attention. You know, I have a 140 IQ a chemical engineering degree. I was making a six figure salary. I walked away from all of those things because God called me to the ministry while I'm making 
in the 20s. Okay, and I give God the glory for what I make. I give him the glory in Jesus' name because I'm very, very grateful. You know, I'm able to pay my bills. I give God the glory for that. But I did not walk away from an award-winning career. You know, I, I have awards where no one in the whole company was able to achieve. To do this ministry, to be talked about, made fun of, to get attention that is absolutely ridiculous. I'm 43 years old <laughs> and they think you just want to get attention. Seriously. I'm here like so many other of God's messengers because we want people to come to Christ. We want people. And I have something else too. I have something else to share. Okay. My daughter, and she's not with me right now. It's like really late at night. But anyway, my daughter had a dream as well yesterday. And it was during her nap. And Jesus came to her in her dream and told her, it's late. Just like that, it's late. And then um, she saw a war. It was some kind of war that was going on between, she said, I was there. I was there. She was there. And I was using this... Um, I don't know if I want to even say it, but I'm not even going to say that part, all of that, you know, all of that stuff. I'll let her do all that, you know, if, you know, she wants to make a video telling her dream. The point that I want to make, it was some kind of war that was going on and she was fighting. I was fighting. We was using different abilities is what I was going to say. We was, what I was going to say the different abilities we was using, but for lack of time, I'm not going to go into all of that. But it, she saw different abilities of people on the team with us. And it was some kind of war that was happening. And Jesus came to her and said, it's late. So I wonder what did that mean? And then I come to find out. Now, it could mean this. It could mean something else. Don't quote me on that, on what I'm about to say. But um, I found out that they're expecting some kind of northern lights to appear in chicago um up as far south as chicago like many states but as far south as chicago and new york and i was really amazed by that because in my dreams every single time i'm seeing all these things happening in the sky with the exception of this dream because i don't know where i was in this dream that i just gave i am in chicago I'm looking at the sky in Chicago. So I, I thought that was very interesting. And they're expecting that to happen um, today. Like right now, it's really early in the morning. Let me look at the clock. It's like going on 5 a.m. So they're expecting that to happen tonight, actually. So I thought that was very interesting. And I began to wonder, is that why the Lord said it's late? And I was about to end it at, at that point, And I felt the Holy Spirit just reminded me to say something else. My youngest daughter was looking outside at the moon from her window. Um, we, well, I was looking at it at first and I called over and I said, wow, there's a moon right there. And we was looking at it and she looked at it and she saw this giant face. She said, mom, I can hardly even see the, the, the moon because of that the man's face in, in front of the moon. And, she, and I was like, where? I looked out the window. I don't see anything on the moon. I don't just see the moon. She said, she was like, don't you see that face? I'm like, no, I don't see it. And I said, what does it look like? And she said it was a man making a very, uh, he was just staring at her. He had brown hair and he had a real evil look on his face, a very evil look. And she said she saw him clear as day. I'm like, okay, it's not the dents in the moon or anything like that. Like that. She said, no, he has brown hair. He has... um you know, a white skin. He looked uh, white looking and she saw him clear as, clear as day staring at her with uh, an evil look, a giant face in front of the moon. And I said, oh my goodness, that's just like my dream. I saw the moon. I saw this, this face, but it was a, the devil's skull and horns. And, but she said it wasn't that it was just a face of a man, which could be the face of the antichrist, which is what I was seeing essentially. She she saw this like the only time she finally stopped seeing it is when she left the window. 
because the whole time she was looking at the moon for minutes, she was looking at it and she said he was just staring at her, just staring. So I, I was like, oh my goodness. So is this thing really, really happening? Is this really up there? Just waiting, just waiting on uh, the go for the Antichrist to, you know, get his power from the devil, you know. I know one thing, the Bible says that we'll see the abomination of desolation. So I don't know how far out these things are. I know a lot of people expect things to happen tonight. Really, I don't know. I don't know. I don't want to put a date on anything. But I, I, I feel like I want to make this video. And I want to make this video because I want people to really be praying about these souls out here. Because whether this happens tonight or a week from now or a year from now or maybe 10 years from now, a lot of souls will not be ready. The church is barely ready. So just imagine how many people out there are not ready. And I have to tell you this too about the three days of darkness because a lot of people keep asking me, how do you prepare? How do you prepare? You know, you want to cover your windows where there's no light coming through. Let me put it to you this way. If you if you have light coming through your, your window, can you imagine uh, some creepy demon shadow just coming up to your window and you seeing something like that? I mean, it's going to be really, really bad. I've seen this stuff so many times so many times god has shown us to me and I, I keep saying this i've seen people going insane instantly by what's coming so you you're not going to want to see the shadow of a demon walking up to your window just thinking you got regular curtains you know you want to put something on on the window where no shadow is going to come through you want to pick a room in your house that is the house for you and your family to stay at during the three days of darkness. Hopefully that room has a bathroom. And you want to... Now, I haven't seen this personally. Other people have said that you need to get white candles or off-white candles, something like that. And you need to anoint them. So I haven't seen that personally personally. But I do that anyway because, you know, why not? What's the big deal? But I have seen this. A lot of people think they can use flashlights and they think they can use electrical lights. And I said this when I had my three days of darkness dream. The light did not illuminate from electric lights. So I would not rely on any electrical lights. I would definitely, from what I've seen, I mean, you guys can see my video and you can... I mean, I just woke up and recorded that. And you can hear the, the terror in my voice. I, it was bad. It was bad. I'm not trying to scare anybody, you know, because throughout all of this, God keeps telling me, fear not, neither be dismayed. And my soul over and over keeps singing to me, the righteous will never be forsaken. So do not be afraid. And somebody else said to me, well, when God protect us, when God just take care of us, that's what God is doing. That's why he sends uh, prophets. That's why he sends messengers. That's why he sends uh, his ministers. That's what we're doing. That's what I'm doing right now. Okay. This is God protecting you through the words that he's given me. Okay. And through the words that he's given others. So you want to get some candles, anoint them. You know, why not anoint the candles? If you don't know how to anoint, I'll put a video in the description box where I explained that. I, I I don't believe in stocking up a lot of food and water. I'm I'm sorry, I just don't. Um, but I do believe that during that darkness, I do believe in fasting. I do believe that we should fast. And I explained that in my video where I did a biblical explanation and I explained how they fasted too. That was a common theme throughout all of this. They fasted. So I think that we should um, fast during that time. But, you know, if you want to get something that you don't have to cook, I don't know, some crackers and cheese or something and, uh, you know, something like that. I have a few things, you know, just in case. You know, you want to think about your animals. I have a cat, you know, what is he going to do? What, you know, 
Is he going to be in a room with you? You're going to need a, a little box and all of that, which I need too. <laughs> you know, uh, I think ladders might work, um, but I, I don't know that prophetically. I just know electrical lights are, are not reliable. You know, what else? You want to, you know, have some scriptures, you know. And definitely the biggest thing to me, I think a lot of people are thinking about, you know, praying for themselves and just being so excited and exuberant about the Lord, the coming of the Lord. Now, I don't know when the rapture is going to take place. I have no insight on that. Even Cam Peters, I went back and listened to his video again, and he didn't even see the rapture. I was really shocked by that. I thought he did. He didn't even see the rapture. So I don't know when the rapture is going to take place. I'm not saying there's no rapture. You know, um, I don't know when it's going to take place. I'm not even going to deal with that. If God shows me that, I'll say it. But he didn't show me that, so I'm not going to say it. Not in these dreams anyway. I've seen the rapture many times, but not in these dreams. But anyway, um, definitely be praying for these souls out here. You know, be praying for these people that are not prepared. They are not watching you know, be. I'm crying as I'm saying this. There's literally tears falling out of my eyes because I can. I know the terror that they will feel. I've seen it. I've seen it. They they won't even know to to call on the name of Jesus. That's an end time scripture, by the way. When it says, "Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved." They won't even know to do that. They will totally be unprepared for what's coming. So I know everybody wants it to come right away. Right away. I want it Saturday night. I want it in April. But think about these souls that's not ready. Think about these souls. Because if God can delay this longer, I'd rather that happen and lead more souls to him. And more people come to him. Then, you know, thinking about all this stuff, I want to get in heaven, you know, I want all of this and that. We will all, we, as righteous, we will get to heaven eventually. But when they get to hell, it's eternal. So try to think about that. I love you all. God bless you. Bye.